Hello, my little monkeys. <laughs> Welcome to Fright Night. I was only like to call it Cooking with Steve. All right. Today's lesson, boys and girls, is pork tenderloins. Now, what we're going to do today, y'all, is roast these mofos in the oven first. I got two of them. One of them I'm just going to leave as a roast. The other one's going to be cooked up too. So that way tomorrow, or in a day's time, I could take it and put it in the slow cooker for another couple hours. And then turn it into pulled pork. But, for today's purposes, we're doing a roast. So I've got a lot of the stuff here pre-done. Carrots peeled. Taters peeled. Just got to chop them in half. These ones I actually had to peel because... They were kind of wonk, they're all kind of wonky shaped and I couldn't get the dirt out of them otherwise I just would have left the skins on and there you go. A piece in there. A couple more big pieces. Yes, I know I'm doing it on top of my counter and yes, I cook, I cleaned beforehand. In case you're wondering, we don't want no listeria or no... E. coli or anything else skunky and funky and making me sit on the toilet for six days. That just would be bad. Okay, class. Okay, so there's taters in. Bada bing, bada boom. And we go for the carrots. Nice big chunks of carrot. So, oh, and what I did with the with the uh, tenderloins. Is I took the pan, I took the uh, cutting board, put the combination of the garlic spice, and no, I'm not getting paid by these guys, but I wish they would because I got this stuff here, the clubhouse vegetable one, and Montreal steak spice works really good with this stuff. So you just put that out on your uh, cutting board and you roll it. Covers it all the way around. And just for good measure, I threw a little bit of garlic into the bottom. Now I'm going to take sweet onion. Nice big sweet onion. Texas sweet. Yeehaw! That is mandatory. You must yeehaw when you're doing the Texas sweet. I need a knife with a longer blade, so... Just a little trick for y'all. If you don't know how to cut the onions, so it does not make you cry. Cut the top and the bottom off. Okay. That's the only reason why I wanted that one. Then you take a look down the middle. You see the center there, sort of the heart. And there's a line up between the two halves. You just cut straight through there. Now the next thing you do is peel that outer rubbery and dried layer. Oh look, it's nice and clean. That dirty skin out. And now you've got that little heart piece here, right? Maybe you can see it better on this side. See that? The bottom of that heart piece? You should just be able to take your thumb, get it in there, you can pull that out. I mean, I'm going to roast it. doesn't bother me. Some people say it's too hot. But nah. I like it. And these are sweet onions. They're not the hot yellow onions. So. Now we just do the same thing with the other side. Take that rubbery crappy piece off. And then, you know, you can use the regular on yellow onion or the sweet uh, Spanish onion or red onions. Or you can actually use, um, what do you call them? The bland, mild white onions. See? And that right in there, that's the part that will make you cry every time. Because that's what generates the gas that makes you cry. <laughs> so beautiful. And this, we can just take that, break it in two, throw it in. Remember, they're sweet onions, so... They're not going to be very pungent and powerful and potent. And 
it's gonna taste real good. We break all this up and give you a little turd's eye view. <laughs> There, this. Just run some cold water over that. Why? Because I just cut it with a stainless steel blade and it'll start browning it down if I don't. And then this part here, when I go to do the pulled pork, well, that's going in the uh, slow cooker. So, all together the prep time, the peeling of the carrots, peeling of the potatoes, and then the uh, seasoning, maybe about 15 to 20 minutes, doesn't take all that long. Now, you need to add a little bit of water to the bottom of this, otherwise the whole thing is going to be shot in hell. Actually need quite a bit of water in the bottom of that so that it all doesn't just dry out on you. And the onions are going to reduce down as you cook them. I think I forgot to set the tray. Yep. Oops. Yeah, I preheated the oven and I forgot. I've got this set for, I used 350 to preheat. I'm gonna turn it down to 325. It'll take a few hours, but that sucker's gonna turn out real nice. And uh, the only thing left now is just to give the oven top a wipe down and the countertop. So all together, with me yakking my brains out to you, it's probably about 30 minutes to get it ready and then into the oven. And that there, that would probably feed, if you served up one pork tenderloin with all the vegetables at one sitting, that's about four people fed right there. Whereas with me, that's dinner and lunch for a couple of days. Yeah, I know. It shows too, doesn't it? <laughs> so, I mean, that's pretty much a dinner anybody would like to have. Unless you're one of those vegan types that just doesn't get into eating meat. And then, well, that's... Go find some tofu. <laughs> that's all I can say about it. Because <laughs> YouTube will strike my channel if, they, if, I don't, if I say what I really wanted to say. I don't believe in veganism, no. Half the teeth in your head you evolved to eat meat with. So... Because, you know, the people who are all about veganism are the ones that sit there and cry about evolution. Well, okay, fine. We evolved to eat meat. Man's an omnivore. We cannot survive on veggies alone. Ugh. My knees are killing me. <laughs> Damned arthritis. So, anyways, that's how you cook that. And, uh... I'll give you a little update later as to how it all turned out. So, so far this video is about nine minutes or so. And, uh, most of that was the prep time. So, like I said, about 30 minutes of prep time. In the oven it goes. It'll be done in about two and a half, three hours-ish. If I decide to turn the temperature a little bit lower. So, it's going to be good. And I'll see y'all later. I'll let you know how it turns out. Okay? Ciao.